course for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's danger on the trail ahead. I'm Silver. Boy! Skeleton Canyon was a grim and foreboding place. Its granite walls, broken, blasted, and seamed by countless centuries of wind and rain, towered high into the western sky. Its face was pitted with numerous small caves and ominous scars where leaden bullets had spent their force. In the reflected glow of a setting sun, Skeleton Canyon resembled a huge, toothless mouth gaping in the fever-fleshed face. Night came quickly on one of the upper trails, and the sudden darkness caused the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed to rein up their horses. Oh, 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 storm blowing up. We'd better find shelter before it breaks. Yeah, those black clouds are almost close enough to reach out and touch. Uh, better we find cave plenty quick. There's one right ahead of us, but we'll have to hurry. Come on, Silver. Get up, All right, Victor. Right on into the cave. Uh, yes, Dan. Certain storms like this are rather common in this part of the country. Uh-huh. They have plenty of dry wood. We build fire. That's a good idea, Tonto. We'll dry out our clothes. Move the horses over to that far wall, Dan, please. Sure. Come on, Silver. And this yep. cave, plenty big. Long time ago, Indian lived here. Probably one of the cliff dweller tribes. The caves all along the canyon wall. Uh-huh. That's trapped our saddle rolls. Yeah, they need drying out, too. Good. It won't take long. As soon as I strike this match, get this fire going. Uh, yeah. Is Skeleton Canyon very long? Seems like we rode into it all of a sudden, like. No, geological formation, Dan. Evidently, at one time, there was no break in the range at this point. Well, what do you mean? Well, through some volcanic action, the mountain split, giving the water from the headlands a natural bed. Well, that's Porter Creek. Huh? Yes, but the strange part of it is how Tokaw Valley on the other side of the range was watered before Border Creek flowed through this canyon. Maybe there wasn't any valley then. The valley is much older than Skeleton Canyon. The soil proves that. Oh. Well, then there must have been another creek. Yes, evidently. Well, why do they call it Skeleton Canyon? It's a question I can't answer, Dan. Many places are named for incidents or legends that happened hundreds of years ago. The names remain long after the reasons for them are forgotten. Gee, I Listen. never... Listen. What is it, Tonto? Me here, horse and trail. Somebody ride plenty, plenty fast. Yes, you're right. 
Someone heading this way. Hey, isn't it pretty dangerous to ride that fast in a storm like this? Very dangerous, Dan, unless you know every inch of the trail. Well, who could it be? Wait. I don't like it. We better be safe and sorry. Atalo. Uh -huh. The fire throws too much light. Quick. Put those blanket rolls together, as though they were covering someone. Uh -huh. Now let's all get back out of the firelight. God, he's riding so fast. I don't see how Wait. Gee, he shot at us. Out of dust, Dan. Roll the blankets. Look. Uh, two holes. Right where a man's head would be if he were sleeping here with the fire. Well, we stay out of light. That plenty good hunch. When you consider how fast that rider went by here in a driving rainstorm. This is plenty good shooting. Gee, he doesn't even know we're here. Why would That's he shoot? That's what we're going to find out. Here, Silver. Man rides white horse. Yes, I know it. I don't think there's a horse that can outrun the Silver. Steady, big fella. Are we going with you? I'll make better time alone. Wait for me. Come on, Silver. Can't very well get off this trail without falling into the canyon. Now, faster, Silver. There he is, right ahead of me. Come on, Silver. That's coming close. Not close enough. Faster, Silver. Why? He was here just a minute ago. Ho, ho, Silver, ho! That's strange. I... Behind those trees. Steady, boy. That last shot hit home. Steady. Wait, Silver. Oh, my arm. You're lucky I lined my sights on the flash of your gun. All right, Ghost, you win. Why don't you finish the job? Why were you shooting at me? I was only doing what every other man up here would like to do. What did you call me just now? Ghost. Ain't that what you call yourself? Now, you've never seen me before. Why did you shoot into the cave? Cave? What are you talking about? I've been laying for you for the last two hours, right here. If that's true, who was the man on the white horse who rode ahead of me just now? You're the only farmer who rides a white horse in these parts, and you know it. Maybe. Come up on the trail. You're riding with me. Now, listen, I made a plane, I missed. You plugged me in the arm and got the drop. I ain't asking no favors from the likes of you. Go on, finish what you've started. I intend to. Start walking. I ain't. Yes, you are. Move. We'll ride double on my horse. Ho, ho, Silver, ho. Gee, we thought maybe you'd been... Oh. All right, get off. We're going in the cave. The big fella. He didn't silver, Dan. Sure. So this is your hideout, huh? You've got a red skin and a kid helping you. Sit down on one of those blankets. Now, I'm going to ask some questions. I want straight answers. Yeah? Me. Why should a murdering polecat like What's you... What's your name? You know it just as well as you know the name of every other sheep man here in the canyon. Just as well as we know you, Ghost. In the first place, my name isn't Ghost. Sure, it ain't your real name. But you're riding a white horse and wearing a mask. If my aim had been better up there in the trail, you'd be where you belong. I still want to know your name. You'd better talk. My name's Huggins. Zeb Huggins. You raise sheep? Yeah. And who is this person you call the ghost? As if you didn't Remember, know. Remember, I said you'd better talk. Uh, ghost is a critter who's been running off our sheep, burning our houses, and killing every rancher he catches alone. Oh, why? You ought to know that. Like as not, you're a cattle man from over in Tokal Valley. But it won't do you any good. You can't kill all of us or burn us out. Someday a bullet ain't gonna miss like mine did tonight. So you think the cattle ranchers in Tokal Valley have sent the ghost up here? Sure they have. Have you any fight with them? Are you using their range? No. We graze our sheep up here in the hills. There ain't a flock ever been within 20 miles of the valley. And what reason would they have for killing or burning? Cattle men don't need no reason. They hate us just as much as we hate them. I see. You can tell them that, too. Every last one of the thieving no-good killers. All right, I will. The rain's stopped now, Zeb. I imagine you have a ranch somewhere near here. You can leave if you want to. What? You mean you're not going to... I'm going to try to help you in spite of yourself. Right. Goodbye, Zeb. You're really going to let me walk out of here? That's what I said. Well, I'll... That man plenty scared. Yeah, I'll bet he still can't believe you let him go. Who is he? Is he the one that shot at us? No, Dan, I don't think so. Although he tried to drag gulch me about a mile up the trail. And what's that ghost he was talking about? I don't know. It must have been the ghost I was chasing, though. He was riding a white horse. Well, where'd he go? He practically disappeared right in front of my eyes. 
He is the one they call Ghost. He's well named. Oh, golly. You think this ghost cattle man like this fellow saying? Well, that's a difficult question, Tonto. But we're going to find the answer to it. How? Well, we'll camp here for the night. Now, first thing in the morning, you and Tonto ride to Tokaw. That's a little cattle town right in the center of the valley. Yeah. Well, what do we do there? Talk to the cattlemen. Ask questions about the sheep raisers. Skeleton Canyon, the ghost, anything they'll talk about. Um, what you do, Kimasabi? I'll, uh... I'll stay here and examine this trail, Tonto. I want to know how a man and a horse can suddenly disappear into thin air. The following morning, soon after daybreak, Tonto and Dan Reed saddled their horses and rode through Skeleton Canyon toward the town of Tokaw in the valley. A short time later, the Lone Ranger reined Silver to a halt on the trail where he had dodged Zeb Huggins' bullets the night before. Oh, Silver, oh, boy, oh, easy. Now, this is the place where he disappeared, Silver. I'm sure his horse didn't fly. There must be tracks somewhere. Now, you wait here. I'll beat through this pinion and mesquite on the side of the trail. The Lone Ranger wormed his way through a thick, tangled underbrush that was shoulder high. A few feet further on, he came to a break in the canyon wall. It was narrow, but still large enough to admit a man or a horse. The opening was guarded by a cluster of chimney rocks, almost as tall as the canyon walls themselves. Walking quickly through the cut, the masked man was amazed at the sight which met his eyes. Rearing itself majestically on a little plateau overlooking the canyon was the outer wall of a huge stone castle. Massive bastions and a lofty tower were outlined against the morning sky. He noticed, however, that the structure was roofless. Gaunt, blackened roof timbers bore mute evidence of a devastating fire. Puzzled and curious, he moved toward the castle wall. Hmm. I heard of castles in Spain. I never heard of one in Skeleton Canyon. Reaching the wall, the Lone Ranger walked cautiously, every sense alert, for he'd already noticed that the ground, moist from the recent rainfall, bore fresh hoof prints. He was looking for some kind of a break in the stone wall. If a horseman had ridden this far, he must have gone further. Hmm. There it is, a doorway. An iron door standing wide open. They must be expecting me. Well, this must be the cellar. Or maybe a dungeon if this is really a castle. Certainly deserted. My friend, the ghost on a white horse, came this way. He's not here now. All right. <laughs> Bullets are closer than they were last night. The acrid smell of powder smoke filled the large stone room as the Lone Ranger instinctively ducked to avoid flying lead. He could see ugly spurts of flame leap from the shadows, but he couldn't make out the figure of the man behind him. As he reached for his own guns, the room echoed again with a wild and insane laugh. <laughs> there must be another door on the other side of the room. Not here, I... Oh, he closed it behind my back. This is one time in my life I've walked into a trap with my eyes wide open. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Tonto and Dan Reed had arrived in Tokaw where they stopped at one of the town's many cafes. Yeah. There, Tonto. That man sitting at the table. He looks like a cattle rancher. Uh. Come on, we'll talk to him. Howdy. Hello there, son. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. I've never been in this town before. Uh, my name's Dan Reed. This is my friend, Tonto. That's what I like to hear, young fellow who ain't afraid to speak up. My name's Nash, Sam Nash. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Nash. Oh. You uh, gent strangers in town? Well, I guess you'd call us that. We just rode in from the north. This looks like good cattle country. Best in the world. Uh, are you a cattle rancher? Well, don't know how you'd call me a rancher. I've got a little spread west of town here. About 2,000 head of longhorns. Mm, sounds like a pretty big ranch to me. Does anybody raise sheep around here? Sheep? Not on your life. There ain't a single one of them blat and woolly critters in this whole valley. This is cattle country, son, and it's going to stay that way. Oh. Well, I thought we saw some sheep grazing not far from here. Not unless you rode through Skeleton Canyon. There's plenty of sheep up there, and that's where they're going to stay. <laughs> Come to think of it, we did ride through Skeleton Canyon, didn't we, Tonto? Ah. Uh -huh. You were smart to keep on riding. Them sneaking, two-faced, murdering sheep herders ain't worth the powder to blow them up. What's the matter? They won't come out in the open and fight like men. Instead of that, one of them sneaks down here into the valley at night and stampedes our herds or fires our barns. Another thing, a couple of ranchers have been dry gulched. And everybody knows that ghost is the one who done it. Ghost? That's what he calls himself. Rides a white horse and wears a mask. Hides out up in the canyon someplace. That's why we know he's a sheep herder. Seems like I've heard about the ghost. Can't the law catch him? Son, there's thousands of caves in the walls of Skeleton Canyon... But them for a hideout and them sheep men protecting him, the law ain't got a chance. Uh, wonder why he calls himself a ghost. Because he figures some folks will think he's the spirit of Don Hernandez. But he ain't no spirit. That sneaking critter is flesh and blood. And I lay ten to one, he's a sheep man. Don Hernandez? Who's that? Ain't you never heard of... No, I guess he ain't been a stranger in these parts. Don Hernandez is the reason why Skeleton Canyon is called Skeleton Canyon. What do you mean? Well, it all happened hundreds of years ago. Uh, hundreds of years? When the conquistadores came up into this country from Mexico. One of them gents was a Spanish nobleman named Don Hernandez. When he got as far as a canyon, he decided to settle down. So he built himself a castle. Castle? Sure, it's still standing, what's left of it, on the north wall of the canyon. Well, did Don Hernandez own everything around here? Sure, thousands of square miles. Land grant from the king of Spain. And all of his descendants figured they owned it, too. Wow. Well, what happened when this country became a territory of the United States? That's where the pinch came in. There was a Don Hernandez descendant of the original nobleman living in that castle up until about 15 years ago. Why'd he leave? Well, I'll tell you. This last Hernandez critter figured times hadn't changed any. That he still owned the whole valley and everything in it. So he started charging toll. Everybody who came through the canyon into the valley had to pay him a fee. Gee, did he get away with it? Well, for a while. Then some of us gents here in Tokaw decided to put a stop to it. We knew, too, that he was smuggling contraband into this country from Mexico. So the sheriff formed a posse and we went up to Don Hernandez's castle. Did he put up a fight? Oh, well, quite a bit. He had enough hired gunmen for a private army. There was a lot of shooting and killing and we moved in and fired the castle. Left it like it is now. Gee... What happened to Hernandez? To escape capture, he jumped off his tower into the canyon, killed himself. And for years after that, some folks claimed they could see his skeleton hanging on a cliff. And that's why they call it Skeleton Canyon, huh? Yep. Don Hernandez had a son, too. But the law tried him and sent him to prison for life. Gee, that's sure a swell story. Gospel truth, every bit of it. But this ghost... Oh, that varmint. He's just some sheep man trying to make us valley folks think he's the avenging spirit of Don Hernandez. But we'll get him. And all the rest of those sheep herders, too. I was just talking to the sheriff yesterday. It's time we formed another posse. Maybe the ghost isn't a sheep man. Who else could it be? These dirty, sneaking well, coyotes thanks would... Thanks a lot for the information, Mr. Nash. I guess we'll be moving along. Oh, sure, sure. If you ever come to Tokaw again, look me up. We will. Bye, Mr. Nash. Come on, Tano. So long, kid. Well, Tano... I don't know what the Lone Ranger will think of our information, but we sure got plenty of it. Mm. Let's head back for Skeleton Canyon. Helplessly trapped in a sealed stone cell with a heavy iron door, the Lone Ranger realized his position was desperate. 
Exerting all his strength, he was unable to move the door. Locked on the outside. No use in... Oh, wait. There's a small grill at the top. My arm is long enough to reach through. That's a lock I can... No. The lock's only a sliding bolt. I can only reach it some way. For several minutes, the masked man tried in vain to reach the outside bolt by stretching his arm through the small grill at the top of the door. Then at last, he evolved an ingenious plan. Removing the rawhide lacing from his holster, he fashioned a miniature lariat with a smooth running slip knot. It was but a matter of a few moments before the tiny lasso was swinging freely on the outside of the door. With dexterous skill and uncanny timing, he tossed the thumb-sized rawhide toward the unseen door bolt. Suddenly, he felt the leather grow taut. There. That's it. Now the bolt will just slide. There, I've got it. I still haven't found the ghost. But I know how and where he disappears. On my next visit, I should have more luck. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, oh. Todd and I got back from Toko over an hour ago. Couldn't figure out why you weren't here. Did he? I was detained, Dan. Did you find out anything, Toto? Ah, Cattleman and Cafe talked long time. Tell plenty. Yeah, maybe it isn't important, but we do have a lot to tell you. Good. Go ahead and tell me. Well, we found out why this is called Skeleton Canyon. And why the Cattleman and Toko think the ghost really is the one... As Dan repeated all that Sam Nash had told him, the Lone Ranger seemed lost in thought. When the boy finished, he asked several questions. That's very interesting, Dan. When did you say the castle was burned and Don Hernandez killed himself? Oh, about 15 years ago. And uh, what became of his son? Well, Mr. Nash said he was sent to prison for life. Otto. Uh -huh. The county seat is about 20 miles south of here. Can you ride there and back before tomorrow morning? Uh -huh. Good. I'll write a note. I want you to take it to the sheriff. He'll give you an answer. Bring it back. You do it. You scout. If Mr. Nash was telling the truth, it won't be very long before the cattlemen and Toka are right up here and try to find out which one of the sheep raisers is the ghost. That's right, Dan. Unless the sheep men ride to Toka first. Yeah, then it'll mean a war between them. I'm afraid so. It's what we must prevent, if possible. Hurry, Tonto, and get back as soon as you can. Uh -uh. You wait here, Kimasabi. We're not here. We'll be at the castle, Tonto. You can find us. Uh -huh. Get him up, scout. Are we really going to the castle? Yes, we've got to, Dan. I'm sure the answer to everything is there. Shortly before sundown, the Lone Ranger and Dan rode to the bend on the upper trail where the masked man had discovered the break in the canyon wall. Oh, horses. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Easy. We leave the horses here, Dan. And... Steady, Silver. Steady, boy. Golly, what was that? The big overhang at the top of the gorge. Someone has blasted it. It'll fill the canyon. Make a dam across the creek. Worse than that, if anything will start a war between the sheep and cattlemen, it's the loss of water. What are you going to we'll do? We'll ride up there. Come on, Silver. Get up, Victor. Oh, Victor, oh, 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 oh. Gee, look. There must be 50 men over there. And they're all carrying guns. Listen. Brother, the ghost farmer has finally figured a way to flood us out of the canyon. Inside of three weeks, this whole thing will be a lake. I say let's go down to the valley now. The white those American murder and careless comes off the map. Hey! Oh, Gee, wait. Sam, what do you say, Sam? Listen, I'll tell you. I just rode up from the valley. Heard that explosion's bigger than what it was. What I want to tell you is this. The cattlemen are riding up here now. This blast and dam in the creek will give them just the excuse they want to try to wipe us out. Are we going to hold still for that? No, we won't. We'll have to dig in and be ready for them. That's going to be a war, all right. We've got to stop it. Follow me, Dan. Where? The castle. Come on, Silver. Get up, Victor. A few minutes later, the Lone Ranger and Dan were outside the stone wall of the ancient castle. They walked quickly through the door and across the large stone room. This is the iron door I told you about. It's unlocked. Oh. Yeah. Hey, but isn't this the room where there you must were... be another door in these walls someplace. The ghost disappeared in here. Golly, and it... There, that's him. Look, that stone on the wall over there, it's moving. <laughs> See? It opens into a tunnel. Down, Dan, get down. <laughs> Oh, I can see him. He's running the other end of the tunnel. Come on, stay behind me. We can only get near enough to him to... Look out, Dan. He's turned water into this tunnel and... Here, hang on to me. It's 
swim, Dan. Keep your head up. I'll do it. Look, he fell. He fell under the water. He's coming down here. Good. He's caught in his own trap. There. There he is. I can just... There. Now, swim back towards the stone room, Dan. I'll bring the ghost. He's unconscious. I can say is you got here just in the nick of time. The cattlemen are coming up the trail now. What's been worrying us is what stopped the river from rising. I told you the underground tunnel in the castle is the original creek bed. This man, the ghost, knew the secret. He's the one who set off the blast. But why? Because he's partially insane. Because he wanted revenge against all of you, both cattle and sheepmen. Who is the critter, you know? Yes, this is Tonto. I'll know in just a minute. Uh, let me bring note from Sheriff. Thanks, Tonto. Yes. yes. This is just as I thought it was. Well, what do you mean? This man is Don Hernandez. Hernandez? You mean the young one? He was sent to prison for life. But he was pardoned three months ago. My Indian friend just brought word from the sheriff at the county seat. Well, I'll be... So the ghost was the son of Hernandez. He probably reasoned in his insane way that if he could start a war between you and the cattlemen, then flood the canyon... Would all revert to him. Uh, what's going to happen to him now? You'll turn him over to your sheriff. Here's a note that explains everything. Well, Dan, Tonto, let's go. Oh, wait, I... Wait, who was that hombre you were just talking to? Wasn't he wearing a mask? Yeah. The ghost? No, oh, there's the ghost. Laying over there on the ground, unconscious. Hmm. Yeah, well, then who was the other critter? I don't know. He gave me a note to give to the sheriff. A note? Look at it. Maybe he signed his name. Yeah. It's signed. Yeah. Well, what's the name? The Lone Ranger. I'll send it. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>